Bananas! Bananas! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions again. It's on Corbin. Bananas are appealing. Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, juicy content. See that juicy? So juicy. Look, I'll do that. It's thing. incredibly juicy. It's so juicy, it's almost a liquid. Hey, that was kind of grinchy. It's joyful and <laughs> Uh And uh, today, today, thank you for listening to some patient calls with Mr. Trey Come. Hey, you know what you haven't done in a while? Ring the bell. <gasps> Ring! Woo! You can do it too. Not that YouTube will notify you. No? Uh, but today, we're reacting to another. Oh, sweet. Uh, Carolina Goswami. Okay. And it's, it's called, I think, Is India the Role Model for the World? Which I would say. In sometimes. many respects, sometimes. In yes. many respects, yes. And in other respects, absolutely not. We are well, well aware of uh, the dark underbelly of both our countries, just, my friends. Just like America used to be. I'm talking a role model. Ah, yes. <laughs> we are definitely not now. No, you know, <laughs> I used to. I, I actually had a role model once. It was a Kaiser roll, and they took pictures of it. Here we go. Twenty oh eight. China is struck by a major earthquake. Okay. India offers five million US dollars to China for its relief activities for the victims. That of visual the was not a major earthquake, by the way. <laughs> 2005. Pakistan is struck by an earthquake. India offers 25 million US dollars to the Pakistani government as a cash assistance, along with 15 million US dollars in in kind contributions from both private and okay, government yeah. sources. Mm -hmm. 2010, Bigger. Pakistan is India. suffering from massive floods. This time, India offers 25 million US dollars to Pakistan to help the victims of flood. Again, India comes to the rescue of its so-called arch rival. 2005, an Indian Air Force aircraft arrives at the Little Rock Air Force Base in Arkansas in the USA. Arkansas. It is carrying 25 tons of relief supplies for victims of Hurricane Katrina. Hmm. On multiple occasions, Sri Lanka has received humanitarian assistance from India worth more than 120 million US dollars. In March 2017, it was revealed that India had been a net donor of foreign aid in the last three years. It had provided more aid to foreign countries than it had received. That's a beautiful statistic. Not only that, Not in 2004, when India was itself affected by a tsunami, it still went on to send help to other nations like Thailand, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka. It deployed 14 Navy vessels, nearly 1,000 military personnel, and several dozen helicopters and airplanes to Sri Lanka. It does not matter what part of the world it is, Africa, America, or anywhere else. If there is a crisis, India is often seen as the first country responding to it. During the 2010 Yemen crisis, more than 25 countries asked for help from India to rescue their citizens and help them to evacuate. Germany, USA, Sweden, France, just to name a few. As recently as 2015, India extricated nearly 2,000 nationals who belong to 48 different countries, including many from the United States, the European Union and its neighboring countries. That was a weird musical transition. In most cases, it is India's Navy, its Air Force, its National Airline, and its Ministry of External Affairs which handle such operations. It does not matter whether it is a high-risk conflict zone or a post-natural disaster area. India is always there for the nation suffering from a crisis. Apart from providing cash assistance, food assistance, and humanitarian assistance, it also partners many nations in post-calamity recovery and in various development projects. India has 279 lines of credit, which are worth 28 billion US dollars in 62 nations in Africa, Asia, Latin America, the Caribbean and Oceania. Of this, 254 projects aggregating nearly 4.7 billion US dollars have been completed while 194 projects worth nearly 19 billion US dollars are under implementation. Whether it is search and rescue missions or more uncommon situations like combating piracy in the Gulf of Aden, where India sent almost 30 warships escorting more than 1,500 ships, 
and blocking nearly 30 piracy attempts. Its army is globally admired for its humanitarian nature and for its potency. Mm -hmm. no one's getting our shot. How many of us know that the Reserve Bank of India provided financial assistance to the governments of Maldives, Bhutan and Sri Lanka when they faced foreign currency liquidity shortage? How many of us know that India is one of the largest contributors to the United Nations peacekeeping missions? Whether it is Sri Lanka, Afghanistan or Nepal, in post-conflict scenarios, India is often seen extending its long-term support to facilitate reconstruction and stabilization. In South Asia, if any crisis emerges and if people fear for their lives, they look to India first, a nation which since time immemorial has provided a sanctuary to those affected by any That's type of persecution. Really? Bayman has even praised India's efforts by citing its refugee policy as a model for other countries. Whenever a no country comment. asks India to mediate and help in reaching peaceful settlements, India plays a constructive role. Its experts provide technical assistance to other countries in designing new constitutions I, I and also in helping them to hold elections Please, smoothly. Each time she makes yeah. a statement, she's put something on Globally, the source. India is involved in assisting other countries in infrastructure development. But what makes India even more special is its keenness to help other countries to become self-dependent in the long run. And to not take the credit. A good example of that is India's Pan-African e-network, which was built at a cost of I, 125 million love that she gives us resources. and encompasses more than 48 African nations, bridging the digital divide and providing top quality education and training. It was the brainchild of former Indian President APJ Abdul Kalam. India also provides scholarships to many foreign nationals, and in 2011, during the India-Africa Forum Summit, it pledged 5 billion US dollars in aid to Africa in the form of concessional loans. And let us not forget that globally, most countries are beneficiaries of India's cheap medicinal drugs, which have saved millions of lives. India's style of foreign aid is quite different to the Western countries. We generally provide conditional aid. Mm, generally. India respects the sovereignty of other countries, and unlike many other nations, Indian aid programs are not designed to interfere with the beneficiary's domestic policies or its demographics. India's cultural and spiritual values are all about humanitarianism. Mm -hmm. India believes in the selfless nature of giving. Yes, they do. India's foundational wisdom of universal brotherhood is reflected in its actions. Sounded no. threatening. Yeah, no, <laughs> it did. It, you know what it sounded like? See you again. And it re I think this happened on one of her other videos, and we said the same comment. It sounded like the woman in the, the haunted mansion when you leave. Oh. Hurry back. Yeah. Hurry back. It's true. Be sure to bring your death certificate. For those of you who've never been to the haunted mansion, uh, um, that's what that's from. But yeah, uh, I, her videos are very well put together. Very well put and together. And I love that she gives her sources, because obviously she makes a bunch of statements in her videos. And right. I'm sure she does it because people are like, oh, where, where did you hear that? Right. It's smart of her. Very smart. And, and so, integrous. Like, you want to see? Here's the source. Give that's her, that's give what her I, the source is. So I love that about uh, her, and she wants to get all of her information correct. And uh, do I agree that India, like I said, for the most part, not, not on everything, of course, but especially in terms of giving and humanitarianism mm -hmm. um is that the, right the correct the humanitarianism yeah. humanitarianism yeah sounds like you're you can eat, eating humanitarian yes <laughs> <laughs> what do you eat are you a vegetarian or are you a no i'm a humanitarianism <laughs> no i'm into humanitarianism anyway yes only works. humanitarian yeah that's all i eat that's right um but especially that aspect of it like selfless giving like she said mm -hmm. in terms of and that and so and not needing to take the credit yeah yeah so 100 percent, i agree with that especially the united states can learn from that yeah i mean it, and granted we know it's not purely altruistic yes india does stuff for its own interests all the time of course every country does of course so yeah of but, course but yeah uh, india doesn't get enough credit for being a world leader and what they do for humanitarian aid and military aid and selfless giving because they don't toot their own horn and, and the rest of the world doesn't talk also about them being non 
violent as well. Mm -hmm. Being the only country like in the world yes. that has never instigated. Yeah, we, also, for being the oldest country, yeah. that's impressive. Very <laughs> impressive. No need at any point to try and expand your territory and try to take over the world. It's like, we're fine with what we got, and y'all should be too. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that there's like... I mean, obviously, of course, they've been in wars, of yeah. course, but they've never and, instigated a war. And we know well enough to recognize that this focus was on aid that's done outside of the borders. We know very well that there are times India has been really fantastic in bringing aid within India in ways that the world doesn't talk about. Mm. Uh, like some of the northeastern flooding that happened a few months ago, the, the, the response that happened to that was exceptional. Yeah. And we also know that there are parts of India that go through crises and the nation is basically ignoring it. Again, India's not perfect. No. And that's what makes India, like every other place, uh, real. And we, we don't in any way sugarcoat it, and I don't think she does either, but what I love is she seems to have a very similar heart to what we want to do in terms of people understanding the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a truth seeker and has genuinely fallen in love with this place, and it shows in her content. Yes. But that's what I like about her most. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, so, yeah, totally love her. Uh, and this is one of her newer videos, too. She, I think she puts out videos all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Yep. Do you live in L.A.? Or does she live in India? I don't know. I think she lives in she Europe. I think she reason. married an Indian. I think she that's did. what somebody said. Yeah. Um, but if you're ever in L.A., come on the show. Yes. We'll talk about India. I'd like for her to do a video about our channel. <laughs> <laughs> She does important videos. <laughs>